My name is Corey, and this is a Mortician's Tale. Now, this came with the uh, on itch.io. They were they had a bundle you could buy for like five dollars if you want to, or however however much money you want to donate to it. And it came with like seven hundred something games, and this is one of the mini games. So I'm gonna maybe do a little playthrough where I play through each and every game. God, I'm so bright. But yeah, this is a Mortician's Tale. Let us begin. September fourteenth, ten fifteen a.m. My birthday is in September. Oh my god. Do I click? Okay, I click. We got ourselves an email. Looks like. Look at me. Jesus, man. So beautiful. Welcome, Charlie. Nice to meet you. My name is Matthew, and I am mainly going to be the man who delivers the bodies to you and helps with some of the other more. the Of the more heavy lifting. Have you heard the joke about a Harris driver? I'll tell it to you when I come by in, the, in a bit. Looking forward to working together. I think you'll enjoy working here. Amy's a sweetheart and she runs a tight ship. Nothing you can't handle. I'm sure she wouldn't have hired you otherwise. And happy, welcome. And this is just, and that's just oh, so this is my boss then. Everyone, uh, new funeral director, Charlotte. I skipped through this because I am lazy and don't feel like reading through all this. If you want to read through it, welcome to pause. God, I'm so bright. I keep looking at myself. Mm. Right as hell. This one's from today. Good luck, you're beautiful. In love. Very professional now. See, business professional. Oh, wait, wait. I guess my typical line to you should start being more professional now that we're business professionals. I see your fancy new email signature. I love that you're able to land. This gig straight after graduating. I didn't even know mom and pop. I didn't even know mom and pop funeral homes were a thing until now. I don't even know what that is. I've never heard of that before. That's actually a first. Um, it's just not something I really think about. I should look more into this. Learn more about your world and industry because as I said, you are now a very serious professional. Who is Jen Love? Just like my girlfriend or something? Speaking of being professional, my museum gig is amazing. I can't believe someone, somebody paid me to move to London and not London on serial killer capital. <laughs> Oh, London, Ontario, the serial killer capital of Canada, to work in a museum. Like, take the everyone who said I couldn't get a job with an art history degree. I'll tell you more about it when we Skype. Oh, so I'm, I'm guessing this is like my girlfriend then. Right. Hope you've settled in okay so far. Matthew has dropped off the body. Alright, so yeah, the Matthew dude already dropped off. First body is Mrs. Garcia, an elderly woman who died suddenly of a heart attack. That sucks. Tell me has asked for a closed cast of funeral, so no embalming or body prep preparation is necessary. Family seems a little bit more united than previous families we've dealt with. Strange how grief affects people differently. Perhaps having more time to say goodbye makes things a lot uh, things a bit easier. That's possible. Oh god, that's oh that's that's deep. Uh, that being said, although you'll not be embalming Mrs. Garcia, I do think it's important to take the time to clean her body. No one's going to see her body, and I like to encourage my funeral director to do this out of respect for the deceased and their loved one. You'll find Mrs. Garcia in the front room. Alright, so Mrs. Garcia is already here. Right, let me go ahead and send this. I'm guessing that, yep, there she is right there. Oh my god, dude, I'm thick. I am thick. Oh my lord, this is a prep room where you will prepare bodies for uh, burial and viewing. Because the family has requested a closed cast at CERN with no embalming, you were just going to clean the body. Uh, Click on the sponge and drag it. I sponge you. Oh, that noise. I clean you. Clean. That's it, you're done. Mrs. Garcia will be sent to Mike, who will take care of dressing and putting her in the casket. Alright, it's time to go to Mrs. Garcia. I have to go to the funeral, too. You're responsible for taking care of the deceased body, but it is also important to pay your respects to their loved ones. All the arrow to head to the funeral parlor. I have to go to the funerals, too. Oh, oh, I mean. Did I change? Did <laughs> I change clothes? So the funeral's happening right now? Or is this, like, later on? Do I have to talk to everybody? I guess... But the clothes cast, I guess I really don't uh like yourself. Oh that's me paying my respects. I pay respects. We usually don't small talk a lot of things here, at least that's what I was always taught. 
What am I supposed to do? Do I have to talk to people, or can I go back to doing what, apparently what I am being hired to do? Yeah, I heard the family specifically said no embalming. I thought it was mandatory, like required by law. Why would they require that? Why would that be a lawful thing? I guess not. There's no law saying you have to, like, have, like, an open casket. Embalming weirds me out. Do those chemicals leach into the ground? What? Seems strange. Oh my god, these people are stupid. It's strange to be using a chemical that is known to cause cancer and putting it to the ground like that. People are stupid. Or into the sewer. That's why they must do with the leftover... I don't even know how to say that. Formylodide? Right? Just pour it down the drain. And then it ends up in the sewer. <laughs> At least embalming guarantees you won't be buried alive. You're... Oh my god, these people are actually stupid. People are actually stupid. I can't. Stop it. Don't make me laugh right now. These people are, yeah, these people are really stupid. What's up? Mommy, I'm hungry. Where can we go? There's like a whole snack table right here. Can I go to the snack table? Let's go to the snack table. Let's see what we can get. Nothing? Alright. How are you do? How are you, how are you two dealing? I hate wearing pantyhose. My legs are so itchy, but it's always so cold in these funeral. Um, oh, we're at a funeral home. Okay. Do they usually have mortician off or things in a? F I don't really know. I've never been to a. F oh, I've been to a funeral home once, and that was like the th sing carols. I actually, miss those sweaters and it. Oh, sorry. How are you guys dealing? Who would have hated these paintings? She was so particular. Eh, man. At least she doesn't have to see them. I guess. Oh my God, that's. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, that was. Uh. That's definitely one of those look on the bright side things. October 11th, 10 09 a.m. I got an email. God, look, I am thick. Your, your girl is thick. And she has tattoos. I'm frustrated. Okay, uh. Pretty frustrated. Jennifer Valentine. So she went from Jen Love to Jennifer Valentine. Okay, let me explain. Holly Tight Lacer's liver. What? Who? The woman who died in 1907. The liver is tamp tape tamp tapered. In words from what the doctor leading the autopsy believed was too tight lacing on her corset. I don't understand why people wear corsets. I know it's to make you look thin, but women are beautiful regardless. Don't ever try to force yourself to look beautiful. Uh, it's fascinating because she, it's kind of controversial topic. Tight lacing was super popular while people associated with painting or hysteria. <laughs> it's popular and while people associated with, oh, I just read the same line twice. It actually was, has been associated with viscero, visceroptosis is when the organs fall to the lower part of the abdomen. Okay, I know what that is then. Which is super unsettling, but can also be caused by being pregnant and aunt. So... Yeah, I've seen, I've seen, I know people who've done that before. The, uh, when they throw the corsets too tight and it kind of, like, physically reshapes their body. Alright. Production, remarkable job, thank you. Even though that was, like, a month ago when I did that job. Next job is a man named Duval. A man died of old age, nothing fancy, just standard funeral embalming. You reach out to his family. Handling. Yes, Charlie. Here, please remember to wear proper embalming gear. Oh, so I make sure I get this formal high diet, whatever. Instincts. I promise I won't bother you too much. Oh, thank you. Miss Rose, you were very kind to me. I appreciate that. Alright. I feel like I should be wearing my hair up. Oh my god. I like close this guy's eyes. That's really creepy. Oh, he's got maggots on him. Traditional burials typically require embalming, which preserves the body and prevents it from decomposing as quickly. Unless the family requests otherwise, all traditional Burials will use embalming. Let's start by cleaning the body. Oh, look at those maggots on them, dude. Guess we're gonna sponge the man off. Clean this beautiful... Alright, click on the razor and drag it over the body to shave it. We are sha- Oh, that's not- Oh, those are maggots. This, this is hair. Oh, I thought those were maggots on them. Oh my god. I tried. Um, in order to break rigor mortis, you'll have to massage the body. Click and drag over the body. Massage it. I don't really know what rigor mortis is. I probably have heard of it before. Maybe that's like gas that build up inside the body and then you gotta find a way to release them. The eyeballs deflate once the body starts to compose and click and drag an eye cap into each eye so I can give it shape. That's... 
Oh no, that's not. Uh, what am I? Uh, compose and click and drag. Oh, I cap. There we go. Keep the eyes shut. You'll need to glue them. What? They glue the eyes shut? Click and drag to glue the eyes. Shut them. They glue the eyes shut, dude. That's actually insane. The mouth sags and hollows once the body search is closing. Click and drag a cotton ball into the mouth to give it shape. What? I didn't know they did this. What? To keep the mouth from opening, you'll need to suture it shut. Drag and click the needle and, th and thread over the jaw. To what? Click and drag the lotion of the body to moisturize. Oh, moisturize. Give us your sexiest smell and Right. I hate this. I'm embalming and balls, removing blood and replacing it with preserving chemicals. Click and drag the scalpel over the neck and make an incision. Uh scalpel. Boom. Incision. Uh you're going to need a tube for draining the blood. Click on the tube and drag it into the neck incision. Tubing. Uh, click on the Ca canula and drag it into the carotid artery. I, I I know I said that wrong. This is how you'll get the preserving chemicals into the bloodstream. I'm guessing that's what this is. Oh no. Click and drag on to so many months later. Carotid. What the heck is the canula? Oh, it's literally this thing. We need to connect the embalming machine to the canula. Grab some additional tubing and drag it to the kettle. Six and a half hours later. What? That's what I did. Oh my god. I'm confused. Um, nope, put down. Click on the button. And now we're basically just stuffing him. In order to e evenly distribute the chemical, you'll need to massage them through the body. Click and drag the body to massage. There we go. There we go. Oh, I massage dead body. Feels good, it does. Don't worry, sir. You'll be nice and healthy by the time I'm done. Oh, you're dead, so I can't. I guess you can't really be healthy. I didn't know they did this at um actual. That's actually kind of insane. Holy shit. Well, I guess the more you know, then. Holy, oh my god. And then we're sewing you shut. Nope, nope, please don't. And, oh, what am I, punching him? Almost like it. You drain the organs and your main lewis. Click on the trocar. That's what this thing is. Hold on the abdomen until all the fluids have been drained. Oh, are we, are we draining him? God. I love how my first assumption was I was going to punch him. That was my first assumption just flat out. And you're done. Mike will take care of Mr. Duvall's makeup as well as dressing and putting him into a casket. Time to attend the funeral. And then I change again. Jeez, man. This chick changes really quickly. I might have to burn something because I see an incinerator in the background. Oh, look at him. I shall pay respects. Respects have been paid, now I can go back to work. <laughs> I love how simple it is. Uh, December 2nd, 10.22 AM. I have an email. I'm thick. Gah, thick. I can only imagine what being a mortician feels like. Some people probably enjoy that. Me, I'd, I'd hate the loneliness. Hello, Charlie. Today's funeral is for a woman who died from breast cancer. Nothing fancy, just a standard cremation. Wow, so I was right. That was an incinerator in the background. Please don't hesitate to ask me if you have any questions. I'm on it. I'm on it, boss. Alright, we gotta do this, guys. It's, it has to happen. Before we cremate Mrs. Hall, we need to prepare the body. Mrs. Hall's family brought clothing and jewelry for her to wear. It's important to remove them before the cremation as to not damage them. Let's start by removing her necklace. So do we burn the clothes too? We need to be able to identify Mrs. Hall's remains after she has been cremated. Click and drag the found identification tag and place it into the coffin. Great. That's it? Okay. I, I, I 
I don't know why I assumed there's gonna be more to it than that. I press the button. I'm guessing these is her remains. This is a cream cremulator. A con. Contrary to popular belief, cremation doesn't turn bodies into ash. It turns them into bone fragments. Ah! Using the cream... Oh, so this just breaks down the bones of the ash. Break down fragments into... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Click and drag bone fragments. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm enjoying this way too much. I gotta respect the dead. I'm enjoying that way too much. Looks like a banana, not so much a bone. Alright, now all the bones have been processed. Click and drag the urn back into the counter. Make sure to put the necklace back into the- Oh, we gotta put the necklace in the urn too? Wait, what? Okay. Don't forget the tag. Click on the round tag and drag it to the urn. Go, and then lid. Honestly, I wouldn't be cremated. I'd rather save the room and have my ashes spread somewhere I love. I'm just gonna pour it into the in the center of a guitar center. That's what they're gonna do. Oop. What happened? What happened? Game where you is. He was. I pay respects. You know I walk away. <laughs> uh, have fun at the funeral, I guess. I don't. I don't really know. I've I've been to. One funeral my entire life. Right, we have email? Cremation Peacemaker? Will you see the note below about the peace pacemaker? I thought this said peacemaker. Shows you my college education really being put to work. They can be tricky. Hi, Amy. You asked if there was any special instructions when to pass along, just please cremate my father. He has a pacemaker too. Doctor told me that that would need to be removed, so I'm removing a pacemaker. Alright. I know what a pacemaker is. Thick. Miss Ray's came directly from the hospital, so we don't have to worry about removing any valuables from her, as the family did not provide any for us to include. Although, however, Miss Ray's has a pacemaker that will need to be removed before cremation. Because pacemakers are batteries, they will explode inside the hot heat of the cremation machine. And we definitely don't want that. Let's start by removing Miss Ray's pacemaker. There. I'm gonna cut you open. This is gonna hurt a little bit. Alright. Down. Oh, we need the forceps, yeah, right. I knew that. Click on the forceps and drag it for out of the heart. Oh, we have to actually pull it out, okay. Uh, and then put you there, and then you're all set to be cremated. All right, go on get, get in there, boy. Go on get. All these empty jars I just have lying around. These like cremation boxes, or boxes, uh, Faces. And now we do. Oh. Oh, I did... oh, yeah, I forgot. There we go. Put the bones. Wee! Ooh, boom. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Eh. Banana! I'm enjoying this way too much. Put the thing. There we go. And then, ready to be delivered. Pay respects. And then I go back to work. February 28th, 10.35 a.m. Alright, I think I'm going to end this here.
again you can check this out on itch.io this game is um, a mortician's tale also comes with the the whole black lives matter uh bundle that they're giving away i don't know how much longer they're giving that away so by the time you see this this it could no no, no longer be a thing but i Definitely an interesting game. Kind of gives you a perspective on like a different kind of job I never thought I'd experience. But nonetheless, it is a job. Now, make sure you like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll start uploading some more soon. But until then, see you guys later. Make sure to stay awesome. Bye.